today we are going to be talking about how to clean an oboe. Oboe! Oboe! So to give you a little summary of what this instrument is, it is a double reed instrument and you often get told that you sound like an annoying flute but look like skinny, tricky clarinet. Yeah, the first rule of oboe maintenance is to always grease your corks. So if you don't know what a cork is, it is this. Can you not? I'm recording a video. Sorry, that's my sister. It's the brown part right there. And especially if your oboe is new, you always have to make sure your corks are greased. So your upper joint and your lower joint and you don't want to like force it in because I guess that's bad for it, I don't know. So let's say you've done a good day's worth of practicing or playing and the first thing you want to do is disassemble it or just take the upper joint from the lower joint and you're going to let that sit on the side. Then you're going to take your swab. This is a swab and it has a little weighted part at the end so it can drop through easily. And you're gonna hold it from the bell at the top and you're going to drop in your swab. And think of this more as getting away the spit. Love that. Because you wanna make sure that there's no moisture when you keep it in its case. And then you're gonna take away the bell and wipe the sides, wipe the inside. I don't want to say spit because that's low key gross. And then you're going to take your upper joint and hold it from the cork facing up. And then you're also going to drop it in, but never pull it all the way through. Why? I don't know. Just enough so all the moisture gets caught because I think it's damaging to this hole where you put your reed in. Yeah. So just wipe off any excess moisture. Big part. And for weekly maintenance of your instrument, you're going to want to take a clean cloth, like what I have right here, yes, clean cloth, and you're going to wipe down each key, and be careful not to snag any springs, because that's what this says. <laughs> you know you're touching it all the time it's kind of gross if you just leave it dirty then we're gonna go in with the lower joint And now that that's done, you're gonna want to take your swab, which is kind of full with all your spit or oboe moisture, and you're gonna want to wash it in, or soak it rather, in some warm water, and just let it dry through because it's covered in your spit, man. It's kind of gross if you just let it marinate in spit. So every week, just take your when you take your oboe home to practice for the weekend, I just soak your swab in warm water for a bit. And I forgot to mention, soap too. Mild detergent and water. Okay, so I'm currently in the bathroom and I got a little container of warm water and mild detergent. So we're just gonna take our swab and let it soak for a hot minute. Get it? Hot minute. Cause the water's hot. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let my swab soak for a little bit and then I'll um, rinse it through and then let it dry out completely so that was me cleaning my oboe yeah hope you enjoyed <laughs>